out here and I am pre-fishing for the City Park Bass Tournament. I'm gonna be out here tomorrow. All I know is I'm gonna give it everything I got, everything. Everything I've ever learned, every missed opportunity. If I get an opportunity, I'm gonna make the most of it. So hopefully we can get them. I'm actually out here right now, walking around, seeing if I can get anything. So let's get it, see if we can find something that's worthwhile. There we go. Got one, found a little bit of success. Got a much bigger one with it, but all right. Ugh, definitely not no tournament winner, but there's the female over there swimming on the edge out there. I think that's the same one. It looks like the same one. It's probably about three pounds. Not a bad fish, but not the fish I'm looking for either, so. All right, man. So cool, though. There we go. Oh, damn it. Yeah, barely even piercing plastic. It's all right. Not another good three pounder though. That's a good thing. Should have set the hook harder. All right, here we go. Come on, come here, come here. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Open your mouth. There we go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. Yes. That's a nice bass, man. That's a solid fish. I knew they had a nice bass there. I seen the wake underneath the uh, lily pads. Biggin'. Try to hurry up and get a weight on this thing real quick. I'll let her go back in the water. Stop it. Stop. Three, eight, one. All right, big mama. There you go. Just don't splash me. No, mama. The other way. The other way. There you go, go that way. Good girl. As y'all see, I'm just walking and uh, I'm looking for beds. That's what I'm doing. My plan is to try to find a big fish on a bed, something over four pounds at least. That's just my plan. I just caught a 381. I weighed it and everything else. I never seen her. I just seen the swell underneath the uh, lilies. So I know she didn't see me. So, but I'm gonna keep walking around in this little area and uh, see if I see anything good. I caught both my fish on a kinky beaver, the hematoma color. So we're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna see if we can mark a fish that we're gonna wanna fish tomorrow and we're gonna fish for only that one fish. Maybe have a backup plan or two, but that's it. Well, I caught a few fish today. If you don't know who that is, that is the current city park record holder for the bass. What, how much was it? Nine uh, three. Nine three. So that was a big old bass. Here's some of the ones that Ryan's caught lately. So hopefully we can hook up on one like that tomorrow. All right, guys, I'll see y'all tomorrow morning. 's on a shaky head Let me come off that time I don't think this is the fish I was looking for though solid too though got another one God hooked the hell out of that one pound and a half not what I need not what I need. Now we got way. Now we got a, a weighable freaking fish. Damn it! I got no pliers. Ugh. Fix this later. Hurry up and get her to the thing. I gotta go. I gotta go fast. Got mud all over me. Yes, yes, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, <laughs> 
Oh, damn. Awesome. Yeah, it's bleeding. Oh, I gotta get it in the thing. There we go. Yeah, man, you weren't kidding. Me. No, it's, it's nuts, yeah, dude. Back. Yeah, I know, but you know, at least maybe if I get it out, maybe you know she'll have a chance at living. I ain't, you know, I didn't get her in the gills. I gotta run and get water in the ice chest. Like, I, I didn't know she, like, I felt her thump it, and I was like, I'm gonna make sure she got it, because I'm throwing a freaking big old creature bait, you know? You see her? Yeah. I caught it yesterday. <laughs> no bullshit. I'm pretty sure this fish weighs 381, because I caught the same fish. Whoa. But she kind of looks a little big. It might be a big, different fish. I don't know. Well, this last, last pull right here. There we go. Sweet. There you go. All right. All right. Get out of here, man. Yeah. I gotta come back. I got my ice chest in the back of the truck. I gotta get water out the canal. Good luck, man. All right, man. Thank you. You too. <sighs> yeah, I got one. Probably about same one I caught yesterday. Nice, Probably about four pounds. Yeah. I got, I don't know, probably close to four. Yeah, hey, it's in swamp water. Ugh. Yeah. Purple? Okay. All right, you can place them in there. Nice. 4.17. Yes. Douglas Blanda. Hey, yes! Yep. That's my fish right there. <laughs> Well, as of 8.30 this morning, I was winning. I don't know who's winning right now. They had a massive traffic jam by the way in. So I had to park a good ways away. Now I gotta get there and see what we're looking like. Hopefully we're still in that number one spot. We're gonna see. Well done, outstanding. All right, the Joe Corsell Award, Bass and Dolph, 13 and older. Third place with 4.17 pounds goes to Douglas Blanda. Where are you? Yes! I hear a scream. <laughs> All right, well, congratulations. Step over here. No, no, no. All right, second place. 5.16, Justin Landry. Justin, coming up. Look at this. Got the race car shirt, sponsored, and everything. <laughs> Oh,